Hi guys, so the video you're about to watch is actually a clip taken from one of my recent videos in which I gave sort of an overview and my review of every single free Shopify theme on Shopify's theme store. So if you guys are just first right now getting started choosing a theme for your Shopify store, uh, I'd recommend you guys go check out that video. It gives a pretty good overview of what the different pros and cons of each theme is and like what your choices are as far as themes go. So I'll leave a link to that down in the description of this video and I'll also link to it at the end of this video. But uh, without further ado, let's just get started with this theme review. Speaking of which, let's let's move on to the uh, the Brooklyn theme. So. Brooklyn, I think is like, honestly, so the theme so far, I, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm very, uh, I, I'll sleep on them. Like the, Brooklyn, I would not sleep on. Like it's a, it's a really good uh, theme. Um, they say it's made for modern apparel stores. Uh, I found you can use it with a lot of different types of sites. It's not just for uh, clothing stuff. It, it can really be used with a lot of different types of sites. So, um, so if we look at uh, Brooklyn, um, you know, they say it's designed for modern apparel stores. It has a header slideshow, um, dynamic product grid. You'll see this dynamic product grid is, is pretty cool. Um, the rest of this, I mean, this is basically like a lot of Shopify themes have this. Their slide out card is kind of nice on this theme as well too. Uh, homepage video, you know, that's just, once again, you're just embedding a YouTube video, which is like, I don't know why that's even a, it's like a, a thing. 70% positive reviews with 84 reviews. That's the other thing is you can see with the reviews here like 84 people have reviewed this so you can tell more people are using this probably than the other theme. Um, you got the 70% positive. Generally people like this theme. Um, I would say like this, uh, not to spoil things, but this debut, um, simple adventure, I think and, and minimal to a certain extent get, get the most use from people. Um, if we continue on, uh, let's just like view the demo store for this. So you can see it has like the big takeaways that I want you guys to realize with this is like, so it has this transparent menu. That's sort of its its hallmark is this transparent menu. Um, it has this huge, uh, you know, it's great for this huge slideshow. You, It has these two, you know, you can switch the slideshow down here or you can do here, or you can also make it, you know, automatically switch like you'd expect with a site like this. Um, this is the big thing with uh, with Brooklyn is like basically it, it kind of dynamically adjusts the size of the like featured collections and, and uh, uh, products I think um, so you can see that most sites this five would be maybe it would be five across or maybe there'd be like three here and two here but they'd all be the same size on Brooklyn like it'll adjust the size to make them sort of this nice pleasing like layout like this it also um, it also is very responsive, right? Like you hover your mouse over it and um, you get this like where it's, uh, you know, it has that black overlay, like half transparent black overlay and the image zooms. With the, your products, it's gonna like sort of light them up, like which I think, um, you know, anytime you have like more responsive images and stuff, it's gonna encourage people to click. Uh, what else do we have? So if we wanna look at the slide out cart, you just hit add to cart here. Yeah, so you can see, like, the, when when we hit add to cart here, it just like this thing will come out on the side, and it'll let us know like what's in our cart. We can adjust the number of things. Yeah, you can see full menu here. Like, you could have an about page. You could have all your different collections. Um, the other thing with Brooklyn that's nice is I don't know if they have it showcased here, but um, no, they don't. Maybe they have it on this playful one. Uh, yeah, they do. So it has a, I'm not clicking here. It has a hover drop down menu, which is, I find is like one of the more requested features for people on their sites. Here's one of the cool things. So you can see that these products, you know, will automatically adjust on this playful thing. Um, yeah, which, which is really cool. Like I like the layout here, how it has like this large product and then two smaller ones and then the two small and then the large. I think it just looks like really nice um, and just breaks things up. If we look at all the different sections we can add, we have custom HTML, blog posts, collection list, feature collection. So there's nothing really out of the ordinary. Um, I do wanna show you guys the um, feature collection, I guess. Uh, or I, I want to show you the uh, collection list because like basically so you can see here if we have seven collections it's going to organize them like this as opposed to usually most Shopify themes it would just be like a grid um, if we get rid of two of these collections you can see it'll you know at six it, it's just a grid at five it goes into this 
Um, you know, three and it, I think is just regular. Like it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. I, I wish they give you like a little bit of control over this. Um, so maybe you could have like two small ones, one big one, two small. You know, like that would be uh, that'd be optimal. I think the other thing to realize about this theme is basically like there. Um, this this pop out cart actually functions as your cart, I believe. So there's no dedicated cart page. I don't think. Um, you just go straight from here to the checkout. Uh, all the checkouts for, for all the themes are like the same. You know, the only thing that really differs is like the default colors that they have or whatever, but you can change those anyways. You see the product page. It's like it has sort of all the different pictures and they're stacked on top of each other. I think it looks really nice with this example that they've given. Um, the other thing is you can see the, um, the uh, description here is moving down with the text, right? which is not doesn't happen on every theme yeah so overall guys like i really like this theme i really like brooklyn honestly um i think it's one of the better themes you can choose i'm gonna put it as an s uh it's it's you know it has positive ratings it has like a decent number of features and whatnot and i think you know they say it's for an apparel store but really i think you could use it for like almost any store um, it's just overall a good theme. Once you get into like using a theme, you can add certain customizations to it if you know how to code or you hire someone to code. And you could really take Brooklyn from being like, you know, a, a fairly good base starting theme to like really being like a, a very um, usable and functional and uh, clean like enterprise theme.